<laughs> I was born in Tiffin, Ohio. Um, I think I was a perfect little kid. I think I was an angel. Um, no, I don't know. I, I, I've gotten a little bit of trouble, nothing bad trouble, but I'm sure I was a, a pain for my mom and dad, but uh, I turned out okay. Um, I started playing basketball when I was 12 years old, I think. Um, 11 or 12, really. I played a lot of sports when I was young. I played soccer and baseball, and uh, basketball was the last one I really played. Um, I played for fun, but um, was the last one I started, but the one I'm, I'm, I enjoyed the most. Um, after college, I mean, I, um, I went to college to play, and then after that, I uh, was fortunate enough to be able to continue to play and I, I started my first year out in Belgium and then uh, ever since then I've been in Italy. <laughs> no, no I definitely wasn't. I mean I was always right on the, the borderline from you know passing, not passing, but I had a lot of fun and learned a lot and um, you know college was was great, so I, I, I enjoyed it. It was five years since I transferred. It was, it was a great, great five years, and uh, I have a lot of good memories. The most important step, I, I don't know. Um, I think everything's been important along the way. I don't know if I can choose one uh, over the other, but um, you know, I, I don't know. Going to Ohio State was was big for me. Um, you know, I ended up transferring, but those the two years there I, that I was there, I learned a lot. So um, that was definitely a, a big step for me. Passaggio, tira da un passo, il passo offensivo, fallo il canestro di Sean Storrup. Um, I have an older sister, Amy. Um, she's back in America working, has family. Uh, I have one nephew from her. Uh, I have a mom, dad, stepmom. Uh, they're all back home. My mom's retired, living in West Virginia. Um, dad and stepmom still working, still in, in Ohio. Um, you know, it's, it's about a small family, but, um, you know, it's. It's good. They come over and visit anytime they can, and uh, it's nice to have them over here. Um, you know, it's it's been great for me. Uh, the first year I was here was a little up and down, a little rocky, but um, you know we made made it through that season, and um, you know the, the the next four after that have been really special. You know, four championships, Final Four, and um, you know I I would have never expected to have all this success. Um, you know, you win it one championship or two. It's great, it's special, but um, four in a row is more than you expect. Uh, you know, Siena is a small, small city, um, so it's, you know, it's, there's not a lot of things going on, so it keeps you more focused. Um, you don't have time to go out and get into some trouble like you might in other cities because here there's really not much going on. So a little different than Milan, but um, no, it's, it's great. There's, there's enough for you to go out and do something if you want to get away from basketball or whatever. Uh, with your friends, but um, you know it's it's not so much that you're distracted, and I think that's an important part. I mean, you know, you, you're focused. You know, you're focused on basketball. You're here for for a job. You know, you're not here to necessarily go out and have fun. You're here to to, to work, and um, definitely here you don't forget that. Siena Siena's been great. It's you know it's different from other where I was before. You know, Cantu was a small place also, but. Um, you know, you have Milan, you have Como real close by here, here. Siena, you're Florence, but. Um, I say Remus, you know, I've been, we played together in Cantu and played together here. He left, came back, but um, I've known him for a long time. So, um, you know, me and him uh, have a good relationship, uh, things like that. But uh, he, he's one of the guys I'm sure that when I'm done playing, I'll, I'll still be in touch with, and uh, you know, whether it's 
him coming to visit America or whatever, something like that. I'm sure that he and I will stay in touch. It's the same with other guys, but um, you know, I've known him for the, for the longest amount of time.